UNICEF has said that Gaza has become a graveyard for children. Let me be clear, Canada is complicit. Canada's arm ex exports to Israel are at record high levels, over $20 million exported last year. A significant percentage of our exports include explosives and components related to military aircraft. There is the risk they've been used in the bombings of refugee camps, hospitals, the killing of entire families. We must condemn the horrific killings of Israelis by Hamas, the taking of hostages. We must condemn Israel's relentless killing of Palestinian civilians in Gaza, including over 3,000 children. Canada used to be a leader for peace in the Sinai, in Cyprus, at the UN. We need to be that voice for peace now more than ever. Call for a ceasefire, the freeing of hostages, immediate humanitarian aid, and a two-state solution with peace and security, including the end of the occupation and a just peace for Palestinians. Mayor in Gaza continues. Over 33 Palestinians have been killed. Over 14,500 children. Families have gathered eat for Eid. They've gathered in the rubble, in hunger, mourning their loved ones who've been killed. Just last week, we were horrified by Israel's killing of seven workers with World Central Kitchen, including one Canadian. More than 208 workers have been killed by Israel. It is clear the Netanyahu far-right government will continue the killing in large part because of the complicity and the empty words of countries like ours. We are witnessing a dystopian nightmare that is all too real. AI drones, cold-blooded calculations of how many innocent civilians it's okay to kill at one time. And now we hear former Prime Minister Harper heads up one of these AI firms used by Israel. We're also hearing about Canadian tax-deductible charities that are fueling the war on Gaza. Canada must end its complicity on all fronts. It starts with recognizing Palestine as a state, including full membership at the UN, bringing in a real two-way arms embargo. It means taking a stand against genocide and standing up for peace and justice.